So the Y fold, this is Radley Mariners against Maidenhead Rowing Club. Two local boats competing. Radley Mariners on the Berkshire Station. And Maidenhead Rowing Club on the Buck Station are having a slight wobble in the early stages up at Temple Island, Mark. Yeah, once again, the crew, they steer themselves. They don't have a cock, so it's once again, one of the people in the boat will be steering with the kind of uh, foot plate. And it's really challenging up there. Unless you've been on that course and had to steer, you won't understand how the kind of island pushes you away and the kind of the, the shoreline on the Burke station draws you in. So, you know, it is very challenging. But as again, once you get inside the booms, kind of come up fast and you kind of on your left side or right side, depending on what station you're on, then you kind of feel safe as though you're in the racing track. Yeah, the umpire actually sending Radley Mariners packing there, trying to get them back onto their side of the course, which they have done successfully. And, and they come now in the midsection of this race. It's Maidenhead trying to stay with Radley Mariners, and indeed they've uh, surged ahead in this Wyfold Challenge Cup heat. Really good lead for Maidenhead Rowing Club. Third at the Metropolitan Regatta in Tier 3 of Coxless Falls. So this crew suggests they might hang around at least until Thursday or Friday, but perhaps the weekend might be uh, a stage too far. Yeah, and that once again, it's kind of thinking about that kind of steering position is really important depending where you want to sit. And Maidenhead had their stroke man kind of steering, which is really challenging because the you can't actually see the booms until you're inside them. And you rely on the post that's behind the start. If you look behind you, there's a fluorescent kind of V, and that kind of enables you to kind of work out where you are from the right line. So that's their job. But also, they're trying to do the cadence, set the rhythm. So it's a lot to think about as a stroke person. Multitasking. When you're trying to go out as flat out as you can off the blocks as well. So yeah, it's a lot to take in very quickly. Right, we've got trouble here. The umpire getting involved again. Both boats getting too close together. Maidenhead Rowing Club and Radley Mariners. See, if you look down the course beyond the boats, you can see uh, where the post lines up with a V. And as an athlete, you want the kind of the, the post going straight down or vertical being bang in the centre of that kind of V. I'll suggest uh, for Maidenhead at one point it wasn't. No, definitely Briefly. if the umpire is telling you to kind of move back to your station, you definitely know you're in the wrong place. And if you look at the umpire's launch, they are in the centre part of the, the course. So e both crews should be on either side of that. So that gives you some idea of who's off their station. Well, Radley Mariners just floundering a little bit at the moment. They've just had a iffy couple of hundred metres there, haven't they? And they're uh, struggling to keep up with Maidenhead Rowing Club. Up goes the flag again. Maidenhead being told to get over this time. And depending how close they are, you know, if, if you finish the kind of race and you feel the other crew has impeded you, then you're able to put your hand up as an athlete and kind of speak to the umpire and challenge the decision of the race. So that's saying that if the Radley Mariners feel that the Maidenhead crew is close enough to them, you will potentially see them do that. Yeah, they might feel they've had to bob through some pretty dirty water, splashing through some puddles here, the uh, Radley Mariners, whether that'll be brought up by them in a few minutes time we'll wait and see but uh, Maidenhead Rowing Club both of these boats have had a bit of a meander down the water rather than uh, going straight lines and the last thing you want to be have there is being told by the huge figure of Matthew Pinson to get back to your station yeah so Matt Pinson the umpire he's had a busy race hasn't he he uh, I suspect was involved in uh, scheduling who umpires which race he's probably picked a bad one for himself here hasn't he He's uh, been a bit more to the fore than uh, some of our umpires have so far today. But uh, he's got it under control. They're uh, heading towards the finish now. Maidenhead Rowing Club not too far from the finish line. And I'm sure what will happen now is the race will finish. And then I'm sure as an umpire you'd probably potentially go and speak to the crew and say don't let that happen again. Otherwise, you could be in trouble next time. He might have taken one for the team here, Matt Pinson. Maidenhead continue to coast towards the line. Just about home and host. There they are. Well done to 
Ross McCorston, Tim Wallace Cadell, Will Cranston, and Ethan Waters, who are over the line. Maidenhead Rowing Club winning that Wifold Challenge Cup heat against Radley Mariners. So there might be uh, some conversations afterwards because there's a lot going on in that race, but ultimately Maidenhead through.